What's up guys, we're here in Chef Chouan. It's the blue city of Morocco. In this video, we're gonna show you the best things to do here. And there's a lot more to do than just see the blue houses. So hope you enjoy it. Chef Chouan is a small town set amidst the Rif Mountains in the northwest of Morocco. It's also known as the Blue City because of its stunning blue buildings in the old town. And while it's still a relative mystery as to why the houses are painted blue, this charming town has a rich and interesting history that's waiting to be heard. We recommend staying a day or two, enjoying all the best things to do in Chef Chouan, and three days or more if you want to venture into the surrounding Rif Mountains. Now let's dive in. We are Zach and Ina. We make helpful videos about destinations around the world so you can easily plan your own adventures. The number one reason to visit Chef Chouan is for its beautiful streets, filled with houses painted in different shades of blue. In fact, Chef Chouan has become a major tourist attraction in the last decade because of blue pictures circulating on social media. But the best way to explore the blue houses is to simply get lost in the alleys and take photos. Just keep in mind that some of the insta-famous places will charge you a small fee to take a photo there. While Chef Chouan may seem like a recent phenomenon on social media, the city has an intriguing history that dates back to the 15th century. The best way to learn about it is by joining a guided tour of the Old Town. The tours take you to the most important sites, such as the Main Square, the Grand Mosque, and the outside of the Caspa. The tour we took also went deeper into the small blue alleys and markets until reaching the city wall's viewpoint. We also pass by the river and unique washing stations, which we'll explain in more detail at number three in our countdown. You can find a link to the guided tour that we joined in the description below. In the bustling main square sits the red-walled Caspa, a 15th century fortress and dungeon. Inside the walls, you can find Andalusian gardens, as well as a museum that features a collection of artifacts from the Chef Chouan region. It's a peaceful escape from the city, and another great opportunity to learn a bit more about the history of this area. At the time we visited, the historical signs were only available in Arabic, French, and Spanish. So having a basic knowledge of one of these languages or a translation app would definitely be useful. You can come to the Portuguese tower here in the Caspa. It's also a really nice view of the blue city. The most peaceful and fascinating area of Chef Chouan is Ras El Ma. Here, the fresh mountain water trickles into the town. It's actually the main water resource for the population, and used to be a popular hangout spot for locals. Women traditionally gathered along the banks of the river to socialize, as they wash their clothes and their blankets. And while today most families prefer washing at home, it's still a refreshing place to escape the heat and gain insight into daily life. As a mountain town, Chef Chouan is surrounded by beautiful nature. The Rif Mountains might be lesser known than the Atlas Mountains, but are equally beautiful. Lush forests and impressive peaks rise above the Mediterranean and provide great hiking routes. Right outside of Chef Chouan, 
you can find a national park with different trails, such as Akchor Waterfalls and God's Bridge. We hiked to the latter one, which is an impressive rock arch that spans the river, and we put a map here on the screen with our route. There are also playful macaque monkeys in the surrounding forest, making this an interesting day outing. One of the downsides of this hike, though, was that there were many restaurants along the water's edge, as well as trash in the river. This took away from some of the natural beauty, in our opinion. Finally, we recommend ending your visit in Chef Shawan with a magical sunset over the city and mountains. There are many viewpoints around the city, but the Spanish mosque might be the most popular and beautiful one. It's an easy 20 to 30 minute hike to the top, and there's a clear path that leads from Ras El Ma to the top. If you come a little bit earlier, then you can definitely secure a spot on the walls which has the best view. If you're planning your Morocco trip, we recommend keeping things organized with our interactive travel planner. Find a discount code below. We also included important links that you'll need for your Chef Shawan trip in the description, such as day trip options from Fes and Tangier, and a full travel guide with where to stay and eat. We'll catch you on the next adventure.